Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. If you want to view as much of your slide as possible when using PowerPoint, a real handy way is to collapse the ribbon or hide it. So in this video, I'm going to show you five quick and easy ways to hide it um, so that just the tab headings are visible. The first easy way is to double click on the active tab heading of the ribbon and this will collapse it for you. You can see here I'm in the transitions tab. So if I double click on here, and you can see the ribbon has now collapsed. To unhide it, to get it back, just double click on any of the tab headings again. So I double click on slideshow and it's back again. If you double click on any of the ones that aren't actually active, then it doesn't work. You have to, you have to double click on the active tab. So if I double click on there, it's hidden again. And double click on any to get it back. So that's the first way. The second way is to right click the mouse anywhere on the ribbon. So right click the mouse and select collapse the ribbon. It might actually be called minimize the ribbon depending on which version of PowerPoint you're using. So if you just click collapse the ribbon and you'll see it's now hidden again with just the tab headings visible. So to unhide, double click again on any of the tab headings and it will come back. The third way is to use the keyboard shortcut Control and F1. And again, that collapses the ribbon. And to unhide, you can either press Ctrl and F1 again, which will unhide it again, or double click on any of the tab headings again. The fourth way is to use the option for ribbon display. So in the top right corner of the screen, you'll see the little box with a little arrow inside. And if you hover over that, you'll get the tool tip that says ribbon display options. So click on there, then choose show tabs. This will just have the tab headings visible on the ribbon. And again, to unhide, you can either double click on any of the tab headings. You can press Ctrl and F1 or go back into the ribbon display options button and choose show tabs and commands. The final way of collapsing the ribbon is to click on the small arrow below the ribbon on the right hand side. This minimizes it. So over on the right hand side here, there's a little arrow, collapse the ribbon. And to unhide, again, use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and F1 or double click on any of the tab headings as before. Or if you click once on the tab heading, you'll see the, and you'll now see a pin in the right corner, bottom right corner of the ribbon. So this will then pin the ribbon again. So click on there and it will now show again. So they have five quick and easy ways of minimizing the ribbon. Now just a side note that when you have actually collapsed the ribbon, you can temporarily maximize it again by clicking once on any of the tab headings. If we've minimized this, if you click once on any of the tab headings, it shows and you can just do whatever you need to do. And then when you click back into the slide, it automatically minimizes again. If you want to hide the ribbon completely, so nothing shows at all, including the tab headings, then go to the top right corner of the screen again to click on the display ribbon options and choose auto hide ribbon. And you'll see it's now completely disappeared. It's hidden the ribbon and instead it now shows three dots in the top right corner of the screen. If you click on the dots to temporarily show the ribbon again, and then once you've finished using it, click back into the slide and it will hide it again. If you want to bring the ribbon back up permanently, click back on the display ribbon options button and choose show tabs and commands. And that now displays the ribbon again permanently. So there you have five quick and easy ways of minimizing the ribbon so you can see more of your screen. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy learning.